Second video, video ladies and gents, uh, I'm making this one during lunch. If you hear bells or announcements, please excuse them. So we want to end up coming with taking our, our drilled uh, rendered object using the whole feature. We want to come up with a cross-sectional drawing that looks like this. So how do we do that? Well, it's going to start with the part. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to go back to the part. And one thing that I did is if you'll notice, I changed what my front view is. This will make importing it into the drawing a little bit easier. So what did I do? If you click on my front view here, this is the front view. So if I go back and I want to change what my front view is, it's really simple. What I can do is just have it go to click this, it'll square up with that. No, I don't want that one. I'll go back here. I want to make this my front view. So I'll click this. I'll square up with that. Get it in that orientation. I'll go to the view cube, right click, say set current view as front. And I've already done that. So I'm ready to go. All right. So what am I going to do? I have a drawing here. In this case, I set the drawing to A4, I remove the title block, and I remove the border just to give myself a little bit more room to make some uh, cleaner dimensions and things like that. So first thing I'm going to do is going to place that base, which looks like this, and we'll place it somewhere around here. We can go bigger than that. We've got more room for that. So I think one-to-one -one might work well for that. Hit OK. We'll do a projected and over here. Tell you what, I'm going to back, back out of this a little bit, move this down for a moment. Now do projected and drag up over here because it's looking at top, top right hand corner to do the isometric. That is too big for this. We'll run out of room, so I'm going to edit view and I'm going to say go ahead and set that one 1 to 2. And I'm going to change it so that it's a shaded view. OK. And I'm going to move that over here in the corner. Right. So for this view, I'm going to go ahead and get the red, drag it up in here, and let's figure out how to do this section view and then annotate it correctly. It's a pretty simple idea. So under the place views, we're going to do section. The first thing we can do is highlight what we want to make a section of. And I'm going to come over here, and I want to draw, cut this thing right in half. So there's the center line marker, or the midsection marker. I'm going to come out a little bit and click here, and go all the way through, and click here here and I come up here and then hit right click for continue and I'm going to drag this down this is the section view and I'll drag it a fair ways down and there it is section view is that simple we need to add a little bit of annotation move this up a little bit so the text is on there and we want to uh, do some s different marks so under annotate I'm going to go over here, and the first thing I'm going to do is put some center lines on here. So here is a center mark. I'll just come and click those circles. It's going to put a mark in the center. The other thing I want to do is I want to put a center line bisector in here. That's this. And here I'm just going to click on these. It's going to put the center line right through those. All right. Hit escape, so I'm out of it. Now I'm going to drag these bisector lines up a little bit. that ought to do it. So let's go ahead and annotate it. And like I said, if we made these things using the whole feature, it should be a piece of cake. Instead of using the dimension, I'm going to use hole and thread, and I'm just going to pull one out. Click it here. That's what we put in there, right? It's there. Uh, that shows our counter bolt. Do the same one here. Give ourselves a little bit of room. Might look right there. Same one there. We'll come back and edit this one in just a moment, and I'll put that one up there. Hit escape. Now this one you'll notice on the drawing we were supposed to include a tolerance. So I'm going to show you how to put that on there. It's through. I'm going to hit carriage return or return and come down here. I want to put a, actually I don't need to hit carriage return. I think on the drawing it's right there. So I'm going to come down here and use select the plus or minus feature right there. And then put what's the tolerance? 0 0.002. That means it can be 0 0.002 inches larger than the diameter or 0 0.002 inches smaller. Hit OK. And we have all of that on there. Last thing we should do is place the holes. So we'll use um, the dimension feature here, and we'll do like in the in the plans. We're just going to use we're just going to use chain dimensions.
and we'll use method two for chain dimensioning. Leave that last one blank. Go here, and there's five. Okay, and the last thing we'll do is we'll put a title in here. Let's go ahead and set the text a little larger. Activity 7.2, section view, and your name. Right. And again, you will turn this into a PDF, and you'll send that PDF to me. All right, guys, get to work.